live program that we are holding for our wonderful sister a minister of God minister Irene Maupemo Tesu some few weeks ago we've been advertising on our platform that our sister will be launching a album and about four weeks ago she launched the album the album launch was a success and by the grace of God we have decided as a TV that God has been using to have his souls and preparing people for rapture. We have decided that we want to have a one on one interview with her. And today we are blessed to have on set with us Minister Irene Maupemo Tesu. Minister Irene, you are welcome to Universal Harvest TV. It's so wonderful having you in our midst today yeah. and we've been hearing about the good works that god has been using you to do but we want to use this opportunity or this platform to announce you to our viewers so that they will get to know more of you uh, this special interview will ask one or two questions so that we'll know more about you and your plans for the future i would like to start by asking this question that can we really know more about minister irene Maupemo. Thank you very much. Minister Irene Maupomo or Irene Maupomo is a young lady who started music for getting to seven years now. Wow. And uh, I've been doing music for, okay, I can say I've been doing music when I was a child, composing songs when I was very young, but then I entered into the music industry. That was in 2016, so we are entering into seven years. Irene Maupomo is from the Volta region of Ghana, and then she is a talented lady. Seriously speaking, let me tell the truth, she's very, very talented because God has made it so. So let's praise what God has done. She's very, very talented. And she has come up with a lot of songs about eight so far so let me say for short i remember more is a gospel minister she loved doing music that's who she is thank you so much thank you god bless you um some few weeks ago you launched your maiden album tact uh activa meaning hope i was there myself and i saw the huge success of the album launch i want to ask you after the album launch what have been the response from people in volta region people who came to witness the album launch and how the world have been receiving your album since you launched it seriously speaking the album launch which we did on the 25th of September was an event that has never happened in Georgia before. Seriously speaking, Hativa is the name of the album. And it happened that that day, the town has a lot of things doing. I don't know how it happened, but they put a lot of programs on that day. But God himself has surprised me and the whole place was full of people. Seriously speaking, God did not put me down at all. He didn't let me down. So many people came, the kings and the queens of the town and even people who are chiefs and they are from other places, they came. They came from far all for me 
and they were present at her Tiva album launch and ministers were there honorables were there in fact dignitaries were there i'm so happy seriously it was a massive performance and seriously that has never happened in georgia before no one has ever launched an album in georgia with such a population before and i'm so grateful it's so good it went successful and we give glory to god thank you so much we give glory to god yeah. i also like to ask you some other questions you see when you told us about yourself you said you love singing from childhood but i know there are so many talented people they love singing but where you are now they are unable to really get there can you just brief us on how god has helped you to really get to this limelight how god has helped you to be a minister of god's music seriously speaking i think i've been chosen from the womb of my mother i've been chosen i've been anointed before i was born in fact god has already you know identify give me that identity that this person is going to be a singer before i was born seriously speaking i don't know how it happened but i can only say that it's by the grace of god i've come this far because a lot of people were doing music before i was born a lot of people were doing music seriously before me i was born but for god to you know push you to this extent for you to reach where i have reached today it is not where I'm coming from, but it's the grace of God. So I can only say that it's by the grace of God that I've come this far. Seriously. I don't know how it happened, no, but God knows how he did it. Oh, thank God. I would also like to ask you once again. You see, in life, we always look up to people. People who are our role models, people who ginger us to move forward. I know there are many gospel musicians in Ghana and all over the world. Can you just tell me one or two gospel musicians that are being a source of inspiration? You look at their life and seeing what they are able to achieve, you also want to be like them. Can you just tell us some of these gospel musicians and what you really envy in them? Well, I like gospel musicians in general. They are doing a great job for God to use you to deliver your message out there to the people through music it's not easy seriously speaking I appreciate them all I learn from all of them because they are all doing very well but then there is one gospel singer in Ghana called PSC Esther this gospel singer seriously speaking I just love her for who she is the way she always smiled, the way she always carried her energy. Hey, I look at her, I tell myself, it's all by the grace of God. And another one is Mercy Chingwo from Nigeria. Okay. She too, she's very good. These are the two people that I love their styles, they are the way they do their things. They come, they do their things with so much energy. They know what they are doing and it's all by the grace of God, as I said earlier it's all by the grace of god and i thank god almighty you know that yeah there are people like them who i can always look out to so they are the only people so far though we have a lot of people out there as i said uh, god has blessed them as a gospel musician come on i i love them all they are all good doing well i learned from all of them yeah thank you so much thank you uh, you mentioned Mercy Chimo, you also mentioned Esther from Ghana. Yeah. But there is something that is common with gospel musicians and even secular musicians today. Uh, there is what we call collaboration, whereby ministers will, or probably singers, would like to join with another gospel musician. They want to share the same platform, they want to do something together. I want to ask, you will tell me, this one I will divide the question into two. First, in ghana who would you like to probably collaborate with you will launch an album probably you will sing uh some record you are just re do some recordings with them just anyone in ghana then apart from ghana probably 
internationally probably you mentioned somebody from nigeria Mr. Chingo, or it may not be nigerian maybe an american american citizen or any other person so please who are those people you would like to share the same platform with so that you can sing and promote the work of god through music thank you very much when i want to mention names now i will give you a lot of names <laughs> we'd like to hear them please <laughs> but i can make it short for you truthfully speaking I believe that the Spirit of God is what moves me to do whatever I want to do. Because in 2016, I released my first song. And someone might think that this girl will not release a song again. But seriously speaking, God was just taking time, taking his time to do things. And then let the song come out, another song come out at the right time. So I believe that God used me at his own time, that he himself feels like using me god uses me at his own time so when it comes to collaboration i believe that at the very right time at god's own appointed time he will make it happen and he can choose anybody even from liberia even from ghana anywhere at all i will not be the one to choose the person for god will choose somebody for me to do collaboration it. maybe it could be somebody that no one has ever imagined yes it could be something that will happen and it will be something that people will talk about i believe in god and i know that god can do a lot god can do things that people will marvel when it comes to music in my life i don't know how it even started though. god has been the one as i said earlier in 2016 it was god after that you realize that for some time people were expecting to hear the next song but it wasn't really coming until god's own appointed time so when it comes to collaboration at the right time god will choose whoever he wants to choose for me thank you thank you so much minister irene maupemo please if you are just turning into universal Harvest tv we are having an interview section with Minister Irene Maupemo from Volta region in Ghana. Uh, some few weeks ago, she launched a meeting album called Activa, meaning hope. We've been having a nice interactive section with her. And I will continue asking my question. I would like to ask you again because our viewers, they are interested to know this. You see, David, during his day, was also a minister of God and he lost singing and through David he was even casting out demons that were possessed uh, but demon possessed people like King Saul and uh, David was not only singing David is also known to be a man of prayer I remember in one of his psalms he said he had been praying morning and night talking about the work of God or some things that connect you to God what are other things you do apart from singing and praising God well when it comes to singing and praising God I pray when you are talking about things that I do aside praising God I pray because I believe in prayer prayer is something that I love doing seriously speaking my father is a man of God and he will not sit down seeing you not praying every morning afternoon and evening he will even monitor you and make sure that you can't say you are a musician so you won't pray you can't say because you are christian all you keep doing is singing prayer is also additional thank you god bless you now you just mentioned about your dad you just mentioned about your dad that day you were launching your album we really saw that it was a backbone behind you can you just say a little just let us know about your dad how he has been a source of inspiration how he has supported you physically financially mentally for you to get up and be what you are today thank you very much in my family my dad is my friend my dad is my very good friend seriously speaking I flow with him than any other person even when it comes to friends around me they can never compare themselves to my father because no matter how it is I can never share their friendship 
I can't share my father's friendship with them. The kind of love I have for my father is something more than what I can ever give to anyone who I think is very better. Like, I, I don't know how I'll put this. My dad is very special to me. My dad always supports me. He always encouraged me. He is somebody who will even tune up a song and be like, Irene, can you sing the second version of this song? He's somebody, he notice and identify the gift of God in me. So he always encourages me to keep singing, to keep doing it. And you know, I love music so much. Anybody who also loves music, just like my father, I automatically like the person. But I'm not trying to say you should like music and then I'll end up liking you or loving you. No. My father is that type of person who is humble. When it comes to being humble, he can forget his status and then humble himself, respect himself. I, I can't praise my father too much. Please, I know my father. He's just too special. Thank he, he encourages me and his name is prophet emmanuel Tessu. wow prophet emmanuel Tessu. i know wherever he is now watching us he will be very proud he will be happy blessing god that god has given him a very wonderful daughter and i know that god will help you so that you can promote the name of your father and the name of the family even for that head in jesus name Amen. thank you so much we've been talking to uh minister irene my hope her mom i will continue with my question i would like to ask you this you see as ministers as pastors we are always very busy doing the work of god you see that we are in a crusade grand ministering we are attending to issues of god's work but we are human men we are all called men of god aside from god's work what are other things you do personally that keeps you going probably there are some things you like personally probably sports someone will say i love reading or some other things what are the things you do personally apart from doing the work of god well thank you very much this is a nice question when i was growing up you know when i see people and they are sick seriously i feel pity you sometimes i i even cry on their behalf i cry on their behalf when I see people and they are having issues pertaining health, I feel so bad. I don't like it at all. And I always tell myself that I should be in that field of health. So that when someone is sick, let's say I'm passing by, someone is having a headache, I can be able to say, okay, go to the pharmacy or go to the hospital and get this or go to this and yes in short by the grace of god i'm a pharmacist uh, assistant pharmacy assistant yeah by the grace of almighty god so i'm just praying to god almighty i'm a certified pharmacy assistant i'm praying to god almighty and i know the god in heaven will do it one day one day i'll be one of those pharmacists amen yes the best pharmacist in town. Amen. The best pharmacist in the region. Amen. Yes, the topmost one. Hallelujah. By the grace of Almighty. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It has been so wonderful. It has been so interesting hearing from you. But I would like to say this. I would like to congratulate you first. Because after the launch of your album, things started happening. After the launch of your album, the album launch was a huge one, was a success. The whole of Juj heard about it. The place was, you know, jam packed with people. People celebrated you. People came virtually from every part of uh, the Volta region. Musicians and gospel musicians all over. They all came. I was even seeing some of them for the first time. I was blessed being there. Now, after the album launch, something happened which I'm aware. You receive a great award. The best artist. In the, the best gospel artists in all of Volta region. In Volta region, we have thousands of gospel artists. But God has seen good you out. You are selected to be the best. Tell me, how is the feeling? How have you been feeling since you won this award? Thank you very much. 
You see, when God promotes you, nobody can demote you. When God has put you at a position, not even your family member can take off that position. God is at work. So all thanks to God Almighty, who continually, every day, he continues, continue to bless me. Like, I, I, I'm so grateful. I don't know how it happened. But God knows how it happened. Maybe God just wants someone to know that I have a child somewhere. So God has done that through this way for somebody to give me the award for people to see that, hey, this is my child. She needs to be recognized. So all thanks to God. I don't know how it happened. But God did it. God knows how it happened. Glory to God. I know that God that have started this good thing with you will continue to announce you to the world. I know you know our father, Bishop Emmanuel Hastiko. Yes. I would like you to say one or two things about him. I will not end this uh, section with you without you saying at least something about our father, Bishop Emmanuel Hastiko. What do you have to say to our viewers concerning Bishop Emmanuel Hastiko? My own papa my own father, my own uncle, Bishop Estico Emmanuel. Seriously speaking, he is a generous man. He is a good man. From the time I know him till today, he has been a kind man. He keeps supporting people and he is still supportive. He is a God sent. And he will continue to be who he is. He is a man of God. He is not other people who they promise but will not even try to do what they said or what they say. You know, he is a type of person. If he says something, he does it. He is a good man. I can only say that God Almighty continue to bless him. Amen. Because he is a true man of God. I have been to his church and I have seen miracles happen with my own eye. He has spoken to me and those things happen. He said things right in front of me that this will happen. Irene, this will happen. Don't worry. Yes, it happened. Such a person is a God sent. May God Almighty continue to strengthen him. May God continue to bless him. Because he is a true man of God. Amen. Okay. Let me speak away. You can go on, please. Anya Mada Molona be a jagwa majiru. Molona mashia make a moji. Masha make a terren, a conal lolone. Masha make a terrea ma boa, a conal lolonama. Mauna ire, Mauna no nipa pli. A fish a ficule, Yanko Sama. Mau na yiri lo. Amen. Amen. Oh, I'm so happy hearing this about our father. Well, we thank God for the life of our father. We pray that God will continue to bless him and the good work he is doing. The whole world we hear of him in Jesus' name. Amen. My prayer for you is this, Sister Minister Irene, rather, is that you've received a word. But men gives a word. But when we get to heaven, we don't receive a word. We receive reward. I pray as God is giving you the grace to receive a word here. When you get to heaven, you receive lots and lots of reward in heaven in jesus name i will ask about one or two questions that will be true with this interview section with our minister minister irene my open mom now i'd like to ask this question you release an album the other time among this album which of the song is your best song and you will sing it for us please uh, truthfully speaking i don't have one particular song which is best because all of these songs are best songs because God himself gave me these songs to sing. 
I didn't put pen and paper and then you know together and bring out the songs because these songs are inspirations that came directly from the Holy Spirit I am just a messenger of God and I delivered it just as I was told to do so God actually come through me gave me these messages and I deliver me I'm just a messenger so all these songs that God himself has you know delivered to the people they are all good songs and they are all the best but I'll sing just one okay among them this song says mega chiji wo mega hanu wo Ma wuli kli wo Eya wa na wo Ma ga fa vi wo No vi ma ga vo wo Ma wula kla lo Ba ya ho na wo Ma ga chi chi wo Ma ga hanu Ma wuli kli wo Aya wa na wo Ma ga fa vi wo No vi ma ga vo wo Ma wula kla lo Ba ya ho na wo Ma ga chi ji wo Ma wu ba ga me nya nyu to Nusiano si matom nela Ali pliwo Vie makpojiwa Sroye makpodawa Ma wula klalo Baya hona wo Dolam nela Doye makpowowa Maula klalo Baya hona wo Afaye na dua Vavasa menela Maula klalo Baya hona wo No vinusi anunabia La fwankoma Yewa wana wo Yatayo yako Nusi anunabia La fankoma Yewa wana wo Yatayo yako He has the power to heal the sick He has the power to raise the dead Oh he cures incurable diseases He has solutions to all problems He has the power to heal the sick He has the power to raise the dead oh. He cures incurable diseases He has solutions to all problems Nusela siwo yona dodo no wo Nusela siwo fona makuku wo Adana dosi ya mama tangu wada o Nana kama sa wawone o Great God of power Controller of power He possess supreme power To do, redo and undo With your power the world was formed Great God of possibility God of power, there is nothing you cannot do. He has the power to heal the sick. He has the power to raise the dead. He cures incurable diseases. He has solutions to all problems. He has solutions to all problems. Wow. No matter what you're going through, God has solutions to all your problems. Amen. And thank 
you so 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 much i love this song i love this song i love this song ah it has been a wonderful time it has been a wonderful time um with minister irene maupamo i love the way you sang the songs they are lovely songs listening to all the songs you have on your record they are wonderful but before we finally end this uh, section with you what message do you have for the viewers what message do you have for those who are following you because of the grace of god upon your life please let the word hear the message you have for them thank you god bless you thank you very much i want to let everyone know that our god does not disappoint our God is not a God of failure. Our God is a God that do exceedingly, abundantly, far much more than what you can even dare to imagine. Our God is very, very powerful. Please, when you are there, always try to praise God because a lot are in the hospital. A lot are in the mortuary. But it's by the grace of God you and I, we are alive. So always thank God. Always keep thanking God. And I want to encourage you guys to keep watching this TV station. This TV station is one of the best TV stations ever. Please continue watching. Tell a friend to always keep watching because a lot they have not yet revealed. Keep watching and then you will see with your eyes. Thank you very much. I Rimaupomo is my name. On all social media platforms, I'm Irene Maupomo. On Facebook, is Irene Maupomo. On Twitter, is one Maupomo. On Instagram, is Irene Maupomo one. Please, my name is Irene Maupomo. Even on Audio Mac, you can get my songs, Irene Maupomo. Can you please Thank you. just tell us, just repeat this again so that some of our viewers they can take time to note this and they can go on social media to get more of you irene maupomo is my name irene maupomo please on facebook my name is irene maupomo on twitter my name there is one maupomo on instagram is irene maupomo one on instagram even on YouTube is Irene Mau Pemo. On Audio Mac or any online stores, in order to have access to my song online, just search Irene Mau Pemo. Please, Irene Mau Pemo is the name. You will be able to get me. Thank you so much. Amen. Finally, before we leave the studio, I will ask you one last question in matthew chapter 19 verse 27 the disciples of jesus they decided to ask jesus and they asked and they told jesus we've been following you and if we are to follow you what are we going to get what are the benefits we will get in following you uh sister irene i know you've been getting a lot following jesus and doing the work of god so please can you just tell our viewers what blessings you've been receiving doing this work of god you know, if I should talk about what I have been receiving as I'm doing the work of God, ask yourself, the life you are living now, the life you are leading, did you buy it? God has given you. That alone is something that money cannot buy. That is too much. That is too much. That, that benefit is too much. What I have benefited so far is too much. I can't even list them. But you should ask yourself, don't you have life? I have life as I follow Christ. In fact, when you follow Christ, you will have life. There is life when you follow Christ. You will get a lot of things that even rich men cannot buy. A lot of things that no matter, I don't know, those people that have the big money, they don't have. There are some homes, they have everything. 
And they are, they are still crying. Please, they need Christ. Have Christ in addition to your riches. When you follow Christ, you will have everlasting joy. When you follow Christ, because as I, I follow Christ, I have Christ in my life. So much benefits I've received that I can't list. Because if I have to talk about it, then I have to take all the time. So please, following Christ is the best thing you can ever do. Continue to be in Christ and worship God in faith, in truth. Please, God bless you. Thank you so much. I love the answer you gave because if it were to be some musician or some gospel artist they'll be listening how they are able to buy cars how they are able to travel abroad how they are able to secure some contract but the best gift or the best thing that god can do for you is to give you life uh, but before we go i have with me here the award you received from uh, volta region as the best gospel artist of the year this is your award yes they are so lovely and this is the certificate of the award we are so grateful to god for your life i know that this will not be the end very soon you will come back to come and thank god because you'll be displaying more of this award and as i told you earlier on you will not only receive award here on earth but in heaven the lord will keep your reward in abundance in the name of jesus and we are grateful to god for your life thank you for your time thank you for this section we want to say god bless you and god will continue to promote you and you will do more in the kingdom in jesus name for those of you who are just tuning into universal harvest tv we've been having a wonderful time with the voter regional uh gospel artist of the year minister irene maupe motesu she launched her meeting album called Activa. She has given us a social uh, media handle. You can go just type Irene Maupemo on Facebook, on Twitter. You will get her. And when you get her, just watch her videos and listen to all her songs. They are songs that are full of inspiration, that can heal you, strengthen you, that can even heal broken hearted. And I pray that God will bless you as you do that. Thank you so much for watching this interview. And keep watching universal harvest studio from the studio of universal harvest studio i am bishop andrew water saying have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time god bless you Help you save you. Down man.
ดาวมา